Hi, my name is Brandon, and in this episode, I'm going to teach you about the master password function in Firefox. So what this is, is you have one main password that tells the internet all the other passwords. So you're going to open up Firefox. I'm going to show an example first, and then we'll show you how to do it. So for instance, as soon as I open up Firefox, I have multiple tabs that open my Facebook, my Gmail, my calendar, and Mebo. So it asked me for the master password. So whatever that is, so like this master password you create, it saves all the passwords for all these other websites that you tell it to save. So for instance, uh, you might remember the Internet Explorer, it'll tell you, do you want to save the password? Well, this, you save that particular password. So let's say my password for Facebook is Facebook. Let's say my password for MySpace is MySpace. Well, when you do this one master password, it saves all those other passwords for you, but you only need one password to access it. So it kind of works like this. So I type in my password, and then I click OK. Now watch, you'll see over here, it'll type in the password for my Facebook account. Then I can log in. And it'll also log me into my Gmail account or, or whatever else I decide to save it. So my MySpace, Facebook, Twitter, any kind of website, it will automatically save it, the password for you. So how do you do this? Well, you click Tools, you go down to Options. Okay, we're going to make sure it'll be on this by default. You're going to click on Security. Okay, Re uh, what you need to do is make sure you put Remember Passwords for Sites. And it'll only remember them if it tells you, if it asks you first, would you like to remember this password? Then you're going to do use, then make sure this checkbox, use a master password. Then you're going to do change master password or to say create master password. You'll enter in the password. I recommend, you know, making it pretty long, maybe like your passphrase or something. Uh, make sure you enter twice and make sure you can memorize it. Then you're going to hit OK. Again. And then you're going to make sure you exit out. And then so as soon as you come back to the site like this, it'll ask you for it. So to sum this up, you're going to create one master password that saves all the other small passwords. So you can have a different password for every website, but this master password will save them all. It'll automatically put them all in for you. Whenever you close the browser and open it back up, you will have to re-enter the password again. Just get that first. Just 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 just